Live from deep in an underground bunker in East Tennessee, this is America's premier mortgage fuel services expert, Paul Williams. To welcome you back to another edition of Foreclosure Pedia Podcast. Foreclosure Pedia Podcast presentation of the Foreclosure Pedia Radio Network, which premieres weekly. Uh, today is the 21st of April, 2018. The time is uh, 2015 hours. <clears throat> and as you had heard with our previous guest at the uh, at the bottom of the hour, we've been talking about regulatory compliance and what's going on uh, in light of the Barrowman decision. Now, in full disclosure, Foreclosurepedia has been working somewhat with Miriam Safape. She's the tax auditor for the state of California in the Field Audit Compliance Division for the Employment Development Department. Um, <clears throat> for those who believe that regulatory compliance is not going to be marshaled out in light of the millions of dollars uh, in, in undisclosed settlements by MCS to people like Bennett Vincent, uh, in light of the seven out of <clears throat> well over 150 uh, upcoming jury verdicts, uh, those seven verdicts uh, in the Bowerman decision, that was $2.2 million, ladies and gentlemen. So look, he, here's the reality, and here's what I'm excited about. So first, the state of California <clears throat> uh, basically has said that if you do not have a general contractor's license, uh, that you're an employee. And what they're saying is that these individuals whom are working for National Association Mortgage Field Services uh, members and otherwise, these individuals are unskilled. And therefore, if they are unskilled, uh, then accordingly, they're an employee. Uh, to that point... Uh, we have been working heavily with the International Association of Field Service Technicians. Uh, now, the IAFST has, has a great setup. Look, they have the uh, IAFST University. You can find it at https uh, backslash backslash university.iafst.org. And here's one of the really neat things. <clears throat> California stated that if training... Uh, were to occur, and if those certificates were both digital in nature and had longevity and storage, meaning that just simply being a trade association, you can't store your own. Uh, the IFST works with Accredible. Now, Accredible has blockchain underwritten technology for these certifications. Uh, it's used by the Fortune 500 companies. Uh, Kepler University, amongst others, uh, use it as well. So, literally... The IFST now can provide training, which will both ensure uh, those subcontractors who feel like they are legitimate subcontractors can keep that mantle, and it will remove the liability off the shoulders of others uh, whom are attempting to hire them within the mortgage field services industry. Um, you know, they're coming in at about $19.95 per module. It's a three-tier module set. There's a, so apprentice, journeyman, master, uh, and, and we're talking about 15 to 18 modules per level uh, of proficiency. So at 1995, you can't beat it. You're going to get that verification. And look, my hat's off to the association. Now, I'm not down, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not discriminating against NAMPS. However, NAMPS only has a system uh, that issues you a piece of paper. And if it's raining, the piece of paper is going to do you no good. If you don't have the piece of paper, it does you no good. But the IFST, uh, the QR code on these IDs and lanyards that are passed out, they're white labeled, branded with those company logos accordingly. Uh, this thing can be scanned by law enforcement. So it's going to show who you are, why you're there, has the DUNS number, the SAM account verification. That means that, look, Aspen Grove, we all know is money hustle. So when you get a DUNS number, this is separate from your EIN. The EIN, uh, TIN, is merely an extension of your Social Security number. And the state of California said, if you have an EIN number, we don't care. You're an employee. The DUNS specifically creates a unique tracking identifier 
Uh, and, and if you're going to go do business with the government, you got to have it. The SAM account, the federal government, is going to verify the financial solubility. It's going to verify the I-9 status. It's going to verify you're not in trouble with the government for any reason. It's going to run a criminal history check uh, on you. And, and look, the IFST has packaged all this together. <clears throat> That's how they uniquely track their members. And all of this, when law enforcement scans that card, boom, everything that is publicly accessible comes up. All right, homeowner comes up. They scan that QR code. Boom, that public file is there. It's verified by blockchain technology. So, you know, I'm excited about that. So on the one hand, NAMP's members are going to suffer profusely from this California regulatory audit that's ongoing. It's going back to 2014. I spoke with several NAMP's members who are staring down well over a million dollars. And it's not just simply pre-conveyance. So some people whom have held HUD contracts, they're hitting them for that. Those are employees. So we're going to keep on talk, top of this, ladies and gentlemen. i got to take a hard break for one of our commercial sponsors uh, right now. Uh, but we're going to get back on this. We're going to talk more and more in the coming days about this because I'm excited about it. So remember the International Association of Field Service Technicians. <laughs> 